Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to be doing a card using our brand new Elements ink pad. This is the Della Blue. And we're going to do a little bit of embossing as well. It's quite a wintry card, but um, I know that a lot of you already made your Christmas cards, so I thought that's fine. I'll do a winter card. I'm sure you don't mind. Starting with Twilight, I'm going to ink that up and the large part of the berry wreath because it comes in a set, there's two of them a small one and a large one so I'm just inking at the large one first I'm going to take off and then pop that down round about there And I'm going to do that again. And let's just, I'm only going halfway round, or maybe three quarters of the way round. Let's just pop that down like so. I'm going to try to keep this card as clean as I can, which will be a miracle for me, as I tend to get very inky fingers, fingers as you know, but I want it to be a nice clean card. So let's have a go anyway. So I've got my smaller berry wreath here and I'm going to just pop that down round about there. Give that a good press. And I'm going to ink up again in the Versa mark. So just line it up where you think it looks quite even. I know it's hard to tell sometimes. And let's just pop that down. But we can build it, build the image up with additional branches and leaves anyway, just to fill it out. So we've got our opaque vanilla white. So I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. Tap that off and hopefully it's just stuck to where I've stamped with the Versa mark. So let's heat this up. Using the Della Blue now and one of the stencil brushes, just take a little off on a scrap piece of paper first, and just to get the feel uh, of how much you want to use. And very gently, we're just going to follow that line all the way around of where we've stumped those lovely berries. Build up your depth gradually. Don't be tempted to just go straight from the ink pad on onto the uh, berry wreath. Because the ink will absorb straight into the card with it being a matte card far easier to build that depth of colour up and much harder to take it away. So far so good, no fingerprints. 
And now I'm going to stamp our lovely little fox. I'm going to stamp him up in the twilight. You can use black if you want. Um, I quite like the twilight because it's it's just nice and subtle sometimes, especially if you're using blues. And I'm going to pop him down around about there. Let that rest a while, give it a good press. There we go. So I've got, um, what one's this now? This is, I think it's a jelly roll, or is it? It's a uniball actually, and this is a red. Um, but you can use the uh, jelly roll pens as well. It's got quite, kind of like a bit of a glaze on this one. It's quite nice for berries. So if you're unsure which products I am using, they will be in the description alongside the video. So just look out for that. Our social media guys, they're, um, they're pretty good at putting all the hyperlinks in that will take you straight to any of these products that we're using. So, because as you know, I'm not always great with names. Okay, so just take your time and colour in those lovely berries. And I've still got no fingerprints on, which is great. So far, so good. Okay, so you can see the berries there, how much more they stand out just with that lovely red. Next thing, let's put some words on. Got a lovely verse here. So I'm inking that up in the Versafine. This is the Twilight. I only want it to be subtle, so take some off first and then used one of one of our little stamps here that comes in a, a foliage set that we've got um, there were so many people that was asking us for the individual ones that we decided to put them all together in a set and now I'm just going to pop up there and we've got our little lamp and I'm going to do that hanging like so and I'm going to take one of these little branches as well. I'm just going to fill out the berry wreath just a little bit more, bringing in a slightly darker colour now. And just by 
bring in, in a darker colour. It gives it another layer, another depth. Each time making it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Fingerprints. Never mind. It's handmade. Just going to use the pan pastels. So I've got my glue pen and all I'm going to do is just dot in and around the wreath. Okay, and we've got fairy tales which I think the colour combination will go quite nicely. Tap that off and there it is. Okay, let's just put this glitter back in the pot. And pop the lid on. And there we have our card and you can see how the glitter it's stuck to all that fine detail as well you can brush that off if you don't want that i quite like it well i hope that you've enjoyed today's demonstration guys thank you so much for joining me and i hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves you take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.